Ang kwecho. Ba, ông nhìn bè bạc cả, bắn to. Các nhầm đà ca này tiệm thi tạm đà ca. Nâng đo bị thị ca chùn tờ thạp đề nhà ẩn trại chết. Nâng bầy mẹ nọ cả, bắn to cả tăng thông đốt đánh đào chùm phù. Sạ xây, xong chơi. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Sir, this morning you told us that there were no pagodas operating in Tramcot during the DK period. Was there a pagoda in Le Bo? And what was that being used for when you lived in Le Bo? Well, let me see if I can refresh your recollection. A witness testified a civil party spoke before this court on the 27th of January. And the ERN for this is, the transcript is E1 slash 253.1. In English, it's 0106069. In Khmer, it is 0106299999. And at 9:44 in the morning, Ms. Chu Koman said that in the DK period. The pagoda in Le Bo was turned into a place for keeping children's children. The prisoners were also kept in that pagoda, in Le Bo pagoda. She said, so the pagoda became the prison. Sir, you told us that there were no pagodas operating in Le Bo in the Tram Kok district. Why was that? Why was it that during the DK period there were no pagodas in operation? Can you understand Sir, my question is, thank you for that. My question is why pagodas weren't being used as places of Buddhist worship? Why weren't monks at the pagodas and ceremonies performed there? What was the policy that made it so that there were no pagodas? Sir, you're a highly educated man. You told us you were given assignments of responsibility, leading foreign guests, leading work projects, leading workers to work projects. Why was, what was the Khmer Rouge policy towards the Buddhist religion? What did you hear and observe? Well, sir, you attended meetings of district committees in Co and Dai and in Trang Kok in sectors 108 and 105. Is that correct? Can you imagine your room? Can you imagine that you're not going to be here? Did you ever hear Khmer Rouge cadres speaking about the policy towards religion? Can you ask Ban Lu Dei Khanong Samai Pi Chat Pram Dal Chat Tam Bai?
Now, sir, by the way, are you a practicing Buddhist? Did you practice your religion during the DK period? So you were allowed to keep a Buddha statue in your house. Is that right? ແລະກໍມາຕອນໄຊຕອບສາໄສກະບາລະມິໂຄຣໂຟນມາຕອນປອດ <coughs> Your prayers must have been answered because you survived. Uh, so let me move uh, on to a different uh, subject. Uh, Sir, you said that you led workers during the DK period in various work projects. Those people that were doing the actual labor, were they there voluntarily? So it's your testimony that they could decline a work assignment with no consequences. Is that correct? ปฏิเสธมันធ្វើការบ้านโดยมันมีพลเอาไว้ <coughs> By the way, did your wife have a position at the hospital? During the DK period, your <laughs> wife, Tamok's younger sister, what assignments did she have? <laughs> Was she a member of the Communist Party of Kampuchea? Your wife, sister. In District 105, Trampkot, when you lived at Lebo, you attended a monthly meeting of the district committee where members of the communes, heads of the communes, reported. Is that correct? But 
ตราเรียกาจูนกันนะสระสระอินเลโบ Uh, I want to read something for to you again from the same book I read this morning, E3, 1593, here in the English ERN 00678587, in Khmer 00637678587. And I do not have the French. It stated that the author wrote in 1977, new cadres took over Le Bo and called separate meetings for each category. They instructed the deportees to temper themselves. Then they formed the three categories into separate cooperatives. The full rights people stayed in Lai Bo and were called Kong Number One. I'm skipping a bit. Deportees and candidates were assigned to different cooperatives called Kong Number Six, Seven, and Eight. They were moved to another area within Lai Bo subdistrict. Is that correct, Mr. Witness, that people were put into different cooperatives and lived in different areas in Lebo according to categories? But man, the Khyom no Lebo, the Khyom man man chow chow. Well, sir, were you assigned to one of these units, these cons, or were you at too high a position to be assigned to such a unit? ខ្ញុំមិនមានទួលនីតិគ្រប់គ្រងកងណាទេហើយក៏ខ្ញុំគ្មាននួយទួលនីតិឯកពោះជាងនេះទេខ្ញុំបានបញ្ជាក់រួ
approximately when did you leave? Uh, let, me, let me withdraw that. Let me ask the question again. Is it correct you stayed up until the time that the Vietnamese invaded? Vietnam, Campuchia. Now, sir, why was it that the Khmer Rouge took these important foreign delegations to Labo? What exactly were your instructions about what to show or tell them? ខាងតំបន់ដែលនាំឲ្យខ្ញុំបង្ហាញពីសហគរកលាយរោគបាយសហគរលីបូហើយមានសាលារៀនសាសហគរគ្មេងនៅខាង In your statement, this would be the um, first statement you gave, the first day, E319.1.15. In answer 53, you're talking about the foreign guests. You said cars from Phnom Penh brought the foreign guests to my place, and I went to meet them. Then I took them to show them model homes and model rice fields that were built for single families. Sir, who lived in these model homes for single families? ខ្ញុំមិនចាំមែនប៉ាត់តែផ្ទះនេះចែកឲ្យកសិករកសិករនៅក្នុងភូមិហ្នឹងភូមិលេបូហ្នឹងខ្ញុំនឹកឃើញ
Who was assigned to build your house? เนี่ยนาได้ตรุบานเกจัดตังเอาซองเตียงรบหลบหนุ่มยอมฉลาดยัดถ้าขังคุ้มให้ขยอมมันจำท่านเนี่ยนาเนี่ยนาได้ปั
that it was a model in terms of the socialist revolution and in waging class struggle mightily and profoundly. ខ្ញុំរឿងហ្នឹងខ្ញុំមិនដឹងទេបន្តែការវាយតម្លៃនេះមិនមែនពេលខ្ញុំមកនៅក្នុងឆ្នាំ ការវាយតម្លៃនេះបាទបែបប្រហែលជាការវាយតម្លៃទៅលើផលកសិកម្មផលកសិកម្មនឹងគឺថាស្រុកនេះជាស្រុកដែលមានដីខ្សាច់
important as the ally, the most important ally of the Khmer Rouge. I would like to read to you from um, a book that was just recently placed on the case file. And it's E342. And in that book, the author wrote, Perhaps no single, it's called Brothers in Arms, Chinese Aid to the Khmer Rouge, 1975 to 79. And the author wrote that perhaps no single individual in China better symbolized the concept of self-reliance than the head of the famous Zazai model commune, Cheng Yongkui. My pronunciation of Chinese is as bad as my command, so, uh, that's how I would pronounce it. Chen's extended visit to Cambodia in December 1977 underscored the legitimacy of the CPK's own rhetoric of self-sufficient development. This trip was also meant to shore up evidence to strengthen his position at home and was apparently perceived by the Khmer Rouge leadership as a last, best, and ultimately, and ultimately unsuccessful chance to help strengthen the waning leftist line in China that was threatened by the re-emergence of Deng Xiaoping in the reform coalition. Paul Merci. Je voudrais que M. le procureur nous indique si le 3, suivi d'un chiffre, est le titre de son livre et si c'est également le nom de l'auteur. Et si ce n'est pas le cas, qu'il nous dise quel est le nom de l'auteur de ce livre, quel est son titre et par quelle décision est-il autorisé à se servir de ce document aujourd'hui. Thank you. Uh, Your Honor, the title, the author of the book is Andrew Murtha, M-E-R-T-H-A, and I don't authorize myself. Uh, this was a decision from the trial chamber E342 admitting this book into uh, putting it on the case file. It was just published in 2014. So the E342 is the decision of the bench of the trial So, sir, I was reading that Paul Pot himself hosted Chen and personally took him all over Cambodia, where Chinese official, or excuse me, the Chinese official, met with a constellation of DK officials, including zone leaders like Khe Pop, Sao Pim, and Tamok. Military commanders like Nea Smuk and Tuch Rin, and a number of local DK cadres. And then, I skip a sentence. While there, the embodiment of Dazai 
visited the Labo model commune, which boasted 9,000 families over 4,000 hectares. So, sir, were you aware that Pol Pot accompanied this important guest from China? Merci. Sous le contrôle de la Chambre, je crois que la cote E342 correspond à la demande du, de l'équipe des procureurs, mais certainement pas une décision qui aurait été rendue par votre Chambre autorisant l'utilisation de ce livre. C'est la raison pour laquelle, si c'est bien le cas, nous nous opposons à ce que M. le procureur l'utilise. My understanding is that the book, to clarify, I think my error. May, may I just ask a question to the prosecution From to clarify? Um, is, it, is it correct that this was filed today, the request? I mean, I know we have discussed the book, but the request was filed when? The request was filed on the 3rd of March. And uh, my understanding is that the document has been given the number E342.1.
chơi lục chơi cầm xong mặc lao bến xua bị chẹt từ xa về nhà ăn trại chiến Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur le Procureur, nous, nous avons effectivement vérifié, nous sommes saisis d'une requête E342 qui a été déposée le 3 mars et le 9 mars aujourd'hui dans sa version française. La Chambre est d'avis que si vous souhaitez utiliser ce, cette requête et le document qu'elle concerne, à savoir le livre de M. Andrew Merta, soit vous faites une demande orale qui sera soumise à, à la discussion des, des parties aujourd'hui et nous rendrons une décision. Thank you, Judge LeBurn. Because I'm short of time, I'm going to move on to another document, and that is E3-1339. Mr. Witness, this is a report from the Phnom Penh Domestic Service. It indicates in the ERNs, well, it's only a, I'll give the ERNs in English, 001683350-51, in Khmer, it's 01063905-05-07. And in French, I'm sorry, I don't have the French. In the first sentence, it indicates on the morning of 13 December, Comrade Cheng Yongkui and other Chinese comrades accompanied by Comrades Pol Pot, Secretary of the KCP, Central Committee, and Prime Minister Ng Sari, Bon Vet, and Chun Chun, Chun Chun, left Kampong Som town to visit the Southwest region. Skipping to the last paragraph, on that page, on the morning of 14 December, Comrade Cheng Yonghui and other Chinese comrades left to Kao Town to Phnom Penh, accompanied by our Comrade Party Secretary and comrades Ng Sari, Bon Vet, and Jun Jun. A large crowd lined the streets of Kao, and then on the next page, on their way to Phnom Penh, the Chinese comrades stopped to participate in a mass meeting at the Leibo Cooperative. So, sir, did you see the upper echelon of the Khmer Rouge called Pak in Sari Bon Vet with the Chinese guest in his visit to Leibo in December 1977? ខ្ញុំបានឃើញតែគណៈប្រតិភូជនទេតែពលពតយើងសរីអីខ្ញុំអត់ឃើញទេឃើញតែអ្នកនាំអ្នកការការងារបរទេសហ្នឹងគេន
mình mình được tuột nhiều thế, xem rạp vị trí chôn cả sẽ còn được nổ nâng Hay mình miên thứ ấy phía bà thất ở thom ấy, ôi khơi thật sạc sát ấy, thích thức thom ở đá, thom ở đá Let me go back to E3, 1593, page 191 and 192 of Human's Book. In English, the ERN is 067590. It states that around the end of 1977, a group of Europeans and Chinese came to visit the model cooperative in Tramcock. Sarun's mobile unit was laboring nearby. He recalls that the night before the work was being performed, they would stop next day at 10 a.m. to get a new set of clothes each and then proceed to the communal mess hall. Quote, anyone who fought over the food would be withdrawn, indicates he used the Khmer word do sen which, according to the author, usually means execution. Because the foreigners were coming to photograph. Sir, is that true? It's fair enough, and I don't have it, so we'll look it up, and I'll move on for a moment. Excuse me, the ERN in Khmer is 00637 to 490. And just going on a little bit, at 10 a.m., they all left the work site, washed their oxen and cows, and then bathed. Anyone who wasn't washed clean would be withdrawn. And it says that Saroon has two vivid memories of this visit. For the first time in years, he saw European faces, three bearded, two with long hair and the other bald. And also, one of us ate so much he fell over backwards and was taken to hospital and never came back. Do you recall before the Swedes, Swedish journalists visited that instructions that new clothes were handed out? Mr. Witness, in your view, was Labo a typical commune in democratic Cambodia? <laughs> ແລະគេលើកឯងវាມັນជាអីវិស័យលើគេលើកឯងទេមានផ្ទះគម្រូមានរោងបាយមានប៉ុណ្ណឹងមានសាលារៀននៅពីមុខហើយវាស្រាយ
cứ nông nông sớm mai cam bưởi chiết chiết bắp tay bắp bưởi chiết tôm luôn cả lại xây xây nhung đẹp tê nó chỉ sập cổm rú nữa tam mặt tê cái nhóm với đôi chiết thoa mặt đá đấy bàn tay thân nặng đặc nòm và cột và cột là cắt đần niêm thay chiết sập cổm rú chẳng hái à nắng tam thân nặng đặc nòm chứ bàn này cái nhóm nhóm khơi ra thoa mặt đá thoa mặt đá Sir, you've discussed the positions that you held, or the fact that you say you held no position in Cohen Dai in, sec in Sector 108, District 108, and in Tramcock, District 105. Just so that we're absolutely clear, were you ever on a district committee anywhere in Cambodia during the DK regime? ปลอบชีสมาชิกคณะสรุปนามวยเด้อดเมียนเต้ขย่มกรอนตายชีจำนวยการในสรุปก่อนได้หนึ่งจำนวยการในสรุปตรามกอบ Especially the head of the district committee would have his own or her own messengers assigned. Is that correct? ขณะสรุปเมียนเมียนเนี่ยสามเนี่ยมันเนี่ยเต่าตามจมูกอะไร Let me make sure, uh, perhaps you didn't understand my question. So did the district committee chairman have messengers during the DK regime in the districts you were at? One, one or more. Did he have one messenger at, or one or more messengers? เมียนมันจราดเต้เมียนมันเนี่ยหรือปีเนี่ยเจียเจียเนี่ยกาปีเจียเนี่ยรสชาสมัยนู้นฮาวตาเนี่ยรสชา And who did they report to? The district messengers. Who was their boss? Nesasrok nung Nesasrok Sir, did you have messengers assigned? Sir, I'd like you to look at your statement from the 28th of January, E319.1.15. And look at answer 30 that you gave at that time. Under the section investigators' comments, it indicates we showed a photograph identifying Wat Ang Sri Malai Pagoda, Wat Samplai Pagoda, to the witness. 
And then it says you said that you used to travel to that area once in a while during the Khmer Rouge regime. But if I visited the area again, people probably would not recognize me. And then, Mr. Witness, you said this. Listen carefully. You told the investigators, I went there to look after the workplace for my messengers, the district messengers, to see how they were living. So, sir, if you were never on a district committee, why did you have messengers, district messengers, that you called your messengers? ចំឡាយនេះខ្ញុំណាឆ្លាយផនចឡំ <coughs> ແລະនៅកន្លែងបត់សំភីនឹងនាសានេះសម្រាប់រត់តែសម្បត់ទេសម្បត់ផ្ញាពីតាស៊ៀងតាចាន់ទៅ uh, sir, was it a mistake because you revealed the fact that in fact you really did have messengers because you were the district committee chairman in Trump Sir, during your the DK regime, did you make enemies? Are there people who you believe are out to get you because of something you did to them? មរយ៮ីកខ្ញុំគ្មានសត្រូវខ្ញុំចូលបលោករស់នៅដេកនៅជាមួយកសិកតាមការដ្ឋានស្រាយខ្ញុំចូលបលោកដេកនៅក្ន
Okay, Mr. Witness, um, let's see. M. Cham spoke um, to D.C. Cam, document E305-13.23, and in English, the ERN is 0095 1845. It's page 21 and 22. In Khmer, it's ERN 0092-987-1. Was the committee in Koen Dyke removed? She said there were frequent conflicts among the committee. When I arrived there, the, tra the chairman was transferred to Kiribong. Then he asked her who was in charge of Koen Dyke at the time. She gave her answer. And then he said, Was Siang transferred to Kiribong? She said, Yes. And she said, yes, then there were three people, a male member, my deputy was Tom Mok's younger brother-in-law, and me. And Danny asked who? She said, grandfather's son, Tom Mok's younger brother-in-law. Later in that interview, at uh, two pages further on. She said, I was at the rear line focusing on rice cultivation while Uncle San, my deputy, was in charge of Bon District near the Vietnamese territory. Sir, you were Im Cham's deputy in Koen Dyke. Isn't that true? And she's correct that you were in Bong near the Vietnamese border. Isn't that correct? Isn't that true? Isn't that true? So she's correct about that. Now, uh, is that right? You were in Bong. Um, that from Trote, that had a low note in Kalang. I'll go on with another question. Sir, my colleague earlier this morning read to you the statement of another witness to come, TCW 809, who was a secretary in District 105 before you and said that you were the secretary of District 108 in Koan Dai. That's E3-4628, my colleague read this morning. But I want to go on now to Lei Bo and talk about what people have said about your time in Tramcock District. In D2326, D232-86, English 0042-4729, my 0041-8434-35, French 0043-6922. A man who said he was a brick maker in Lebo said, later on I was sent to work at the district workshop near district committee Ta San. In Lebo commune, I made bricks which were taken by the Khmer Rouge to build model dining halls in the cooperative. Sir, let me read a few more before I ask for your comments so you can respond to all of these. Witness TCW 815, document E3-4627, 
English 0022-34734, Kamai 0016-3490-91, and French 0065-1256-57. He was asked where he was when Phnom Penh fell. He said, I was here both before it fell and after it fell. They called it District 105, Sector 13, Southwest Zone. My position was youth chairman. Then skipping down a few lines, he said, Takyev was the district secretary, and female comrade Kom, the daughter of Tamok. Later, Kom became the wife of Tamuk. He was asked, after Kiev and Kong, who held the position? He answered, after 75, Kong followed her husband to Kampong Som, and Ta Chin rose to replace her for a short time. Later, Ta Kit rose to replace him. He was asked, in the district? And he answered, right here at Tram Kap, and later, Ta San, the younger brother-in-law of Tamuk came to govern all the way until it fell. Question, do you know at what year Tasan came? Answer, approximately 1977, Mr. Witness, do you know Ye Boon? 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 She was in Tramcock at the same time you were, correct? Document E319-12.3.2 at answer 28, she said, the last Tramcock District Committee was Ta San. For me, I also worked at Tramcock District Committee with Ta San in October 1978 when I was in charge of the women's side. Ta San had been Tramcock District Committee long before me. And then TCW, 948 in document E319.1.17. At answer 10, this is a witness who was the chief of the Sre Ranong Commune in 1978. And in answer number 10 and answer 31, he identified you as the district secretary and said that he reported every month to you about political works, economy, and security. Do you want me to read more, Mr. Witness? Will you please tell us, admit you were the district secretary of Trump Cup in 1977 and 1978? Can you save me time of reading more? Can you admit that, sir? ໂດຍខ្ញុំបច្ចាក់ឲ្យ <coughs> Your Honor, could, Mr. President, could you please instruct the witness to answer the question only? He's giving a speech on the topic. Nung 
ឬមួយក៏ហៀចេញពីភាពចាំបាច់នៃការឆ្លើយតបនឹងទំនួរវានាំ <cười> nơi bắt đầu rong chăm làm đẹp sạch xây nền đẹp chuẩn điên đo sạch xây rụp đi nền không lòng về sầm ra chẳng ngoài chuyện cốt tập lòng một căn cái lại đo cái cam không bắt đầu sạm sạm là cả ní bính rùm tiền về tivi bắc xa bạc cốt nơi về liền mỏng bảy sầm ra cho xong chuyện cao chờ